So we are ready for the next part of the evening, and this is a water with contest over six rounds. Now, officials for this bout, Judge 1, Nathaniel Lobain, Judge 2, Clement Shone, and Judge 3, Michael Nikwe. Now, introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner, and this is the boxer coming from the boxing gymnasium that is leading the boxing league, Charles Cotty Boxing Foundation, with a weight of 148.2 pounds. This is a boxer who is making his debut as a professional boxer, presenting to you the boxer, Gotsi Amuzo. Switching over to the red corner, another boxer who is also making his debut today with a weight of 149 pounds from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium. And this is the man who is also making sure that today is going to prove his mettle, presenting to you the boxer, Felix. Azu Crab! And the man in charge of this fight is Ishmael Williams. Here we go, third bout of the evening. Ishmael Williams, last set of instructions been given to the two boxers. We've got Felix Azu Crab in red. And uh, Felix this evening is taking on Godson Amuzu. Felix is fighting out of the Black Panthers gym. And Godson is representing the Charles Quarty Boxing One. Foundation. Referee Ishmael Williams. Oh, see to it that it's a good, clean fight. Welterweight contest. This is scheduled for six rounds. And clearly the predator instincts of Gotsen Amuzu beginning to show. Gotsen Amuzu looking very serious. And Felix... Azukra yet to show or give an indication of what kind of power he's made of. Oh, one to the head of Felix Azukra and he had to walk away. Dazed by that, and of course, it's Godson who keeps coming forward. Godson obviously has the uh, power punch, keeps his guard up quite well, and then tries to uh, get the pointers. Felix Azu, not too sure whether he's up for this. He walks out of trouble, but he had, a, took a, yeah, he had to take a big punch to the chin. I mean, Prince, that was a smart move from Felix because when you look at the way Godson Amuzu is really stalking his opponent, Felix needs to do that because the kind of punches that is coming at him, if he don't swerve out of danger, he's going to hit a canvas. But talking about the welterweight division, you have the likes of a Floyd Mayweather Jr., Manny Pacquiao is there. When you go overseas, now Udinis Ugas, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr., these are the kind of guys there. In Ghana here, you have the likes of Ike Bazuga Korte, you have the likes of Azuma Nelson, Joshua Korte, they all pass through the ranks. So if you really want to get into the ranks, then you need to match up with this kind of guys. And I feel Gotson Amuzu, so far he has done a lot of things in this round to get my hats out. Points for Gotson Amuzu in this round. Seconds out. And you see Prince getting round into this round two. I'm sure 
Felix Azu needs to take change his tactics going into this round two because in the round one, Gotsen Amuzu was right all over him. Felix didn't do anything significant in round one. So in round two, he needs to change his tactics. He definitely needs to change the status quo. Felix Azukrab. Gotsen trying to pummel his way away to victory. And he's got those power punches. Felix has taken quite a few to the head, but has sustained them at least so far. Felix walks out of uh, trouble again on, on, on in that instance. But it has been a constant approach by Gotten and then down he goes. That went straight to the body of Felix Azukra. And I think that would be it. That would be it. Sam. Let me take your view on what you saw. <laughs> His size competing at water weight, I don't think it is the right weight for him. So maybe so, his handlers should take it on that. And that prematurely. So we have the verdicts for the water weight contest over six rounds. Now, ladies and gentlemen, shall we put your hands together for the two boxes? So we are getting ready for the next bout of the evening. And what is going to be a super waterweight contest of a six round between Ashirifi, a champion, and Daniel Quay. Daniel Quay from the Palm Spring Boxing Gymnasium and Ashirifi, a champion, from the Seconds Out Boxing Gymnasium. Now we have the verdicts. Now in round number two, one minute. 11 seconds by a technical knockout presenting to you the boxer from the boxing gym that is on top of the deluxe professional boxing league Charles Scott Boxing Foundation presenting to you the winner Gossi Amuzu